Kelsey and I took a road trip to Winona this weekend, and on KDWB, they had favorite musical moments, which I was very much looking forward to, but it was a huge disappointment. So I figured I would make my own favorite musical moments. Enjoy! And this part right here where she says, bring the beat in, love it. Bring the beat in! All right, so at this point later in the song, she's gone through like three different key changes, and just when you think she can't possibly sing higher, she hits an even higher note, and it's beautiful. Oh my god! I wish I could sing like Beyonce and get that like, whatever she does with her voice. It's like super throaty. Anyway, next song, Springsteen, where he's doing his like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, it's so sexy. Springsteen. Alright, next one is Bruno Mars, Just the Way You Are, and it's that last little like, yeah, at the end of his song that is just like, oh my god, I am beautiful just the way I am. Thank you, Bruno. This one is Dance With Me Tonight by Ollie Murs, and it really builds up by the end of the song, at which point I'm probably like dancing around in my pajamas with a hairbrush, and he says... Everybody, everybody, come on and it totally does make me want to be like, everybody, come on now, let's dance. I am ready to party. Okay, this next song is Don't Stop Till You Get Enough by Michael Jackson, and it's that like classic in the like the middle of the song and it just makes me picture like some drunk person ripping off their clothes and jumping in the pool at a party and everybody's like ooh look at them All right, the next one is May We All from Florida Georgia Line. And there's this big musical break in the middle. And then Tim McGraw comes in with his sweet, soulful southern voice. And he sings this little part and says, I heard a little something from the worst time. Get a little stronger from the hard time. And I love how he says the word hard because it's just perfectly southern and perfectly twangy. The next one is maybe the weirdest musical moment noise ever. It's Pitbull, I Know You Want Me. And he does this thing that's like, Um te ajugaha. I'm assuming it's Spanish, maybe? I love it. This next song is kind of a lovey-dovey one. I feel like it would be great for one of those little wedding montage videos or something. It's just incredibly sweet. It's the Goo Goo Dolls, Come To Me. And it's one of those songs that just builds. And there's not like a specific second, but I just love how it kind of builds at the end and then they jump back into the chorus. And I'm basically crying and eating chocolate ice cream by the end of it. It's lovely. Today's the day I'll make you mine, so get me to the church on time. Take my hand in this empty room, you're my girl and I'm your groom. Come to me, my sweetest friend, this is where we start again. Again. Come to me, my sweetest friend. All right. And speaking of lovey-dovey songs, Jason Mraz, I'm Yours, is another one. And I like how he kind of tricks you at the end. Like, you think the song is done, 
And then he jumps back in with his like, and it's just like, it's cute. It's fun. I like making those noises. Alrighty. Can an entire song be a favorite musical moment? Because I'm currently obsessed with Despacito, just like the rest of the whole entire nation. But my favorite part is very subtle at the end. It's one of the, like, Luis Fonsi or whoever the backup singers are. And he goes, Tiwa! And it's hard to hear, but I think it's hilarious. Suave, suavecito, no vamos pegando poquito, poquito. Did you hear it? That is not the only weird moment in a Justin Bieber song that I thoroughly enjoy. I also like his other new one, I'm the One, and Lil Wayne and his weird little voice is rapping away, and right at the end of his little feature, they say, when we pull up, and then they do that like... <laughs> Even though I couldn't tell you half of the words in the rest of that rap portion, I'm always ready for the weird little at the end. Had to pull up on your mama, see what you made of. Ain't got a word about them comers, cause my cake up. You can ride inside my life on that fame bus. Cause I promise when we step out, you'll be famous. Modern day bunny and Clyde, what they named us. Cause when we pull up, all angles. Yeah, you're looking at the truth of money. All right, this next one just gives me all the feels. And when I hear it, I either want to go watch Free Willy or drive through SeaWorld, just blaring this from the windows of my car. It starts off all serene and peaceful, and then a few measures in, the beat drops, and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to join a gospel choir. It's great. kick it back even further to the good old 70s when the Beatles were big and they have one of the greatest pauses in their song hello goodbye is what it's called and you just have to listen here it is I don't know why you say goodbye I say All right, this next one is Five O'Clock Somewhere by Alan Jackson, and it's the part where Jimmy Buffett comes in at the end, and they start singing the chorus, and when they say it's only half past 12, they have this wonderful little harmony that I always try to match and fail miserably at, but I do enjoy listening to it. Oh, something tall and strong, they get a hurricane before I go. It's only half past twelve, but I don't care. He don't care. I don't care. It's five o'clock somewhere. All right, and now I really feel like I need a margarita. Um, the next song just so happens to be "You Got Something I Need" by One Republic, and. I like when they say the word you and they go you, 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 and that's not exactly how it sounds, but you'll get the idea when you hear the song. You got something I need in this world.
Fun fact, this next song is the song that was the recessional after Josie and I got married. Aw, for cute. It's Stevie Wonder for Once in My Life. And I like at the end when he says, um, this is mine, you can't take it. And he's like, this is mine, you can't take it. And does that fantastically squeaky little high-pitched note. For once I can sing, this is mine, you can't take it. I don't know what it is about Bruno Mars, but he has some kick-ass endings to his songs. And Bruno Mars' Treasure, he ends with this, like, funk jam session, and you can just hear the guy, like, slapping the bass and totally funking it up, and I'm dancing every time. Seriously, why did I choose to play the clarinet in school and not something cooler like a guitar? Oh well. The next song is a Jason Derulo song, and my favorite part is not his trademark moment where he always says his name within his song. I like when he dives into his falsetto voice at the end of the song. I can't even sing that high. It's unnatural. I wonder if someone is literally squeezing his testicles to make his voice go that high. I'm not sure, but the man is talented. Is it weird that your bra remind me of a Katy Perry song? Every time that you get undressed, I hear symphonies in my head. I wrote this song looking Wouldn't it be great if his voice was, like, super deep in real life and this is how he talked all the time? All right, two more songs to go. We're going to wrap it up with A Little Country. Uh, my One of my favorite songs is by Darius Rucker, Wagon Wheel. And I like when he says, I got to get a move on before the sun. I hear my baby calling my name and I know that she's the only one. And he's just got this weird rhythm to it, and it's fun to sing along to. But he's ahead and west from the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee. I gotta, I gotta move on before the sun. I hear my baby calling my name, and I know that she's the only one. And if I die in Raleigh, at least I will die free. This last song is by the Zac Brown Band. It is Castaway, which was the perfect summer song to listen to up at the cabin. Um, but even during the school year, in the middle of a really crappy work week, it makes me feel like I'm on vacation. And this right here is my absolute favorite part. You have to listen for the guy with the really, really deep voice in the background. That's the best. Boy, oh, hey. Come and cast away. All right, so that's it. Those are all of my favorite musical moments. Although I could probably keep going. I hope that leaves you way more satisfied than the Dave Ryan Show did this weekend. Thanks for listening.